Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, darling. On today's video, I'm gonna be making sample candles using my three favorite oils from West Sound Candle Supply. So if you wanna see how I make these beautiful candles, keep on watching. Yeah! Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. On today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I make samples for three of my favorite oils from West Sound Candle Supply, but it's uh, Jeff Stanley's new venture. So I'm gonna show you the oils that I've chosen for this test. Okay, the first one is gonna be Fraser Fur. The second one is gonna be Caribbean Teakwood. This is number one for me. And the last one, but not the, the least, is Cashmere and Cocoa Butter, okay? So these three for me are winners. Uh, most likely they're gonna be uh, on my candle line, Candle Herman, so, I'm gonna be making testers and I'm gonna be showing this to you guys on my live stream, September 26th at 12 noon Pacific Standard Time, okay? So let me just gather all the ingredients and all the stuff we need and let's get started. Yeah! So the first item that I need is I'm gonna, I'm gonna need some of these tins. These, these are the ones that I'm gonna be using for the test. I'm gonna be using six of them because I'm gonna be trying also, I'm gonna make two different kinds of tests, guys. I'm gonna make one, three of them with uh, using PV600 and I'm gonna make three other ones using Solvilis Wax. I love to have these size because they are, uh, I like the fact that they, the fact that they are deeper, you know, so it makes them safer for me to make, uh, to have a, a sample if I want to give someone to test for me. So I think this is, is better than the other ones that are too shallow and that they, uh, that we could dislodge, but we'll see. Okay. So I have six of those and then I'm going to take you guys to the candle bar. Okay, guys, so I started to gather all the, uh, ingredients that I need for this test. And the first thing that you need is the candle candle making worksheet. So you can write in there all the different uh, blends of uh, the waxes that you're getting, uh, the different fragrance oil, the amount, and everything that you uh, that you need to refer to in the future. Okay. And a lot of you guys have asked me um, on my YouTube channel uh, to try make a testers also using PV600. So I'm going to uh, be doing that for you. So I'm going to be making six different testers. It's going to be three of them using PV600 and three of them using solubilis wax, okay? And I'm also gonna be testing two different wig series. I'm gonna be testing LCS wig series and CDM wig series. So I'm gonna gather all the ingredients that I need, guys, and I need to find, I need to find on my wig guide for CDM to see what uh, size uh, I will need for these testers. And once I gather everything, I'll be right back, yes! Okay, guys, so I'm gonna try doing this video, facing the, the camera the other way, and I hope this comes out. Okay, I just wanna make sure that you guys see everything that I'm doing. Um, I wanna use the wide angle lens, so that way, you know, I know that you guys can see the whole action, okay? Okay, the CDN tools are for double wicking, guys. I'm gonna, you know what, guys? I'm gonna use a CDN3. I'm gonna use a CDN3, which I have in here. Okay, so I'm gonna make three different candles with a CDN3 wick. Now, these I'm gonna be making myself. Let's see if I can use one to make the three of them. I absolutely can. So, let me just get the candle worksheet. Okay, so I'm gonna name them testers for WSC. Uh, wax dye, PV600. And soy bliss. Okay. Now, I have in here information of different testers that I made before, and I just wanna make sure that I can, um, let's see, use them. So, no, I have 100, I think this should be fine. But I'm gonna leave this out because this I'm gonna be using uh, all the time. So that way I don't have to be searching for them, you know, every time that I need something. The LCS 40, so I'm gonna take one, and with one, I'm gonna make three. Okay? I'm gonna leave this in here because I'm gonna be using these these two a lot, and this one too, the CDN6. So I'm gonna leave this outside because I'm gonna be using uh, all the time. Okay. So before I do anything, guys, remember I need to clean this up. Let me just put this away. My Kaya 23, my favorite my favorite oil from 1617.com. You know, it's always wipe it with alcohol to make sure that it's very clean. Otherwise, the the wig may not uh, stay. So this is the LCS 40. How do I know? Because it's very rigid. The CDN uh, wigs are very, uh, very soft. Okay, so let me just take the, ta-da. Let me just make the other two. Let 
too. I just take the tab and just press and then just press the edges. Okay. I'm done. Because it doesn't, it, it, it will be, I mean, why sacrifice one full week for a tester? You know, it's not really like, it's really a waste of money, you know, and, you know, we need to save money anytime we can. Okay, so I'm gonna make these three in here and I'm gonna label them because I don't want to, uh, although I can tell which week is which because I know but I, I just wanted to make sure that I uh, label them before I continue any further. I'm gonna, the first one is gonna be Caribbean thick wood. Number two is gonna be cashmere, and number three is gonna be Fraser fur. Okay. So one A, two A. Sorry for the miss. For the miss. And three A. Okay. So we got first three, and then this is gonna be number one B. 2B and 3B. Yes! Okay, perfect. Let me just make the, the other tree weak. Uh, 2A, 3A, 1B, 2B, and 3B. So you have the beauties. Yes! Perfect, let me just put them outside. I think the best thing you can do, I use stainless steel uh, furniture, so it doesn't get burned and it's very easy to clean. Okay, so let me just put in here, the scale, and I'm gonna do the oils now. Number one is Caribbean thick wood. Perfection. 0.14 there you see it's good to have the pipette because then you can take away okay because i put too much in one okay so one is ready so okay so i have all the oils ready guys i'm gonna start uh, uh the presto pot for the soil bliss wax and then i'm gonna uh, also measure the wax for the different candles uh so let me just get a little bit of the uh, pb600 and i'll be right back okay so the pb600 wax one ounce, 1.3. The PB600 measure out. I have all the oils, uh, all the oils measure out. Uh, I'm gonna take you guys outside to where the press button is and let's start cooking uh, the soy please, okay? Yes! Okay guys, so I'm here now, I'm cooking the, the soy please wax. But, so what I'm gonna be doing guys, I'm gonna be doing these three candles first uh, because I only have one outlet. Okay, the wax is up to uh, 217. I want it to be a little bit hotter. Because as you know, this gets very, uh, very cold right away when I add the oil. Okay, so I need 1.3 ounces of wax, okay, for each one. So I'm going to take a piece of, because I'm going to be using the same thing for the three of them. So I'm just, I'm going to clean them up. Spatula here. Very fast, 15 seconds, and pour. Perfection. Beautiful, now I'm gonna clean it. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna be using this for number one. I'm gonna be using another one for number two, and another one for number three. In the meantime, let me just clean, the only thing that I'm gonna need to clean is this. Ta -da! You have to do with what you have, guys. You know, it's is that making samples, is that making a big candle? You know, it's the same thing, the same trouble. You know, so you know it's okay. It's perfectly clean. Again, next one. Let me just throw it away and let me get another piece of paper towel just to have it, just to have it ready. Tear. 1.3, 1.4, that's too much. And I'm gonna take another spatula for oil number two. Oh my God, this is amazing. 
Amazing guys. Perfection. Okay, let me just wipe this clean and I'm gonna use it for the other candle. So put it right next to it. Now I need to wipe this clean. First I wipe it out for the wax and then I use alcohol to get rid of the uh, any fragrance oil that is left. That's why it has to be very clean because we don't want to contaminate that wax. Yes! Clean, 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 clean. Guys, I went to the gym this morning and did such a good workout. I just noticed the necklace. I work out and I have a trainer for my legs. Oof. He kills me, but it feels so good, you know? I want to develop my glutes because I'm flat as a board, as you can see. So hopefully by next year, I have a better shape on my back. Okay, this is perfect. Okay, tear, 1.3. Perfect. Oil number three. Okay, and use spatula. 15 seconds. Oh my God, this is the face of fur. Oof. Wow. Merry Christmas. Beautiful. Okay, let me just wipe this thing. And I'm gonna start warming up the, the grill. So I'm gonna put this up. And I'm gonna take, I'm gonna clean up all these guys. I'm gonna start the, uh, the grill and I'll be right back, okay? Yes! Okay guys. Okay guys, I'm back. So let me just connect this to the grill. So I only have one outlet. That's why I can only do one uh, heat element at a time. Okay, so let me just take this out of here. I don't want to burn this. Okay, and I'm gonna take out the, put them to the side. And put this to the side. here okay so I'm gonna start this now so this is the PB 600 guys it doesn't have to go up above 200 but I'm gonna take it to 200 okay I, I just think that when you um, heat up the wax higher because it, especially that this kind of wax uh, is such a small small, ma small amount so let me just change the light hold on here we are can you see me okay I have very tight close so let me just maybe so better yeah so having him my paper towels and let me change the angle of the light to, to come from here because it's not giving me a flattering light. Perfection! Okay guys, and like I was telling you guys, while this cooks, I'm gonna make it to 200. So while this cooks, I just want to remind you guys that this Sunday, September 26th at 12 noon Pacific Standard Time, I'm gonna be showing you these candles. So my goal is to uh, cure them today uh, I'm gonna see how they uh, do tomorrow uh, in reference to uh, CT. And then Sunday, before the live stream, I'm gonna do a, a mini HD to see how the uh, HD is developing. Again, these uh, waxes are supposed to be cured uh, for a few days, you know, especially soil bleach. It should be cured for two weeks for you to get the maximum uh, effect. Uh, but I'm gonna see, you know me, you know, I like to test them right like after the day after, so we'll see. So let's check the temperature on this. 84 because I'm, I'm hitting the, uh, the solid wax. You see? Okay. So, yes, I'm very excited guys. And also, um, I, like I told you, I think uh, let me see the name of the website the olive oils that I ordered. 
stone candles. Okay, so I ordered the first one is an uh, out wood, a uh, Tom Ford type, uh, type uh, scent. I order rosemary mint, patchouli sandalwood, Persian jasmine, tobacco, tuberose, vervain, amber, ambre, basil, bayes, gardenia, hashish, honeysuckle, lavender, petit grain, and Santal, okay? Those are all the, uh, the different fragrance tips that I got. So yeah, hopefully uh, they will be uh, here very soon. I got this uh, the invoice back from them very, uh, very promptly. So yeah, we'll see. They are located in Santa Monica Boulevard. So, okay, so let's check the temperature on these candles, on the wax. Let's see how hot they are, guys. Can you see? No. So these are 202. This one is 202. Okay, I'm gonna put the oil. This one is gonna be number one. Okay, number two. Number one is a red one. One B. I don't wanna put it in here because this is still hot, so I'm gonna do it in uh, in here. I'm gonna put all this inside the uh, the candle box. I'm gonna show you at the, at the end. Okay, so this is number one. And I'm gonna use the pink one, the middle one. 15 seconds. Okay, and let me just get the candle set up to be. I'm gonna show them to you once I put them inside the, the candle bag, guys. So don't worry about it. I'm, I just wanna get this done right away before. Yeah. These are all basically two, 202, 204. It's fine. For me, it's what's giving me uh, success in getting the waxes above 200. You know, it's, it's perfect. Okay, so let me just get number three in here. Oh my God, it smells so good, guys. So again, guys, you know, when you're working on these waxes, don't be afraid of taking them above 200, okay? Because they're gonna be fine. Okay, guys, so let me just uh, wash everything before everything gets solid and I'll be right back with you. Yes! Hi, guys, welcome back. And here they are, my beauties, yes! Okay, guys, so like I was telling you, I'm gonna show you the uh, the candles, guys. Uh, the first one, I made it using Caribbean thick wood. Okay, and this is the first one. This is uh, Soy Bliss Wax, and it has an LCS 40 wick. Okay, <sighs> beautiful CT. I'm very impressed. Okay, so using the same oil, I'm using this one, it's problem 600, and I'm using a CDM3 wick. I'm not gonna show it to you because it's still liquid, so I don't wanna uh, touch it. Okay, candle number two, it's done with cashmere cocoa butter, yes! Okay, let me see the CT. Amazing. It's truly, truly, truly amazing, guys. I truly believe that by me heating up the wax at 240, I mean, not 240, uh, between 220 and 230, and adding the oil at that temperature, there's something about it, it traps the whole um, the scent. <sighs> Beautiful. Okay, and the same one with the uh, PB600, and I'm using the CDN number three. Okay, and the last one, beautiful, press it for. Again, soy bliss wax, LCS 40, <sighs> beautiful. Not as strong a uh, CT as the other two, but it's gonna get there, okay? Remember this wax, as in soy bliss is supposed to be a cure for two weeks, okay? So just for me to know that I'm, just for me to get be getting this uh, CT at this time, it's very, uh, it's truly a blessing, you know, it's, I love it, okay? And again, this is problem 600 and um, with the CDN number three. 
Okay, guys, so uh, let's, uh, I'm gonna finish the video here, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel and give it a like to the video and also share my content with your friends and family. And it will be great, guys, if you can also support me on my other channel, Healthy Label with Michael. All the details are gonna be below on the description box. So I'll see you Sunday, September 26th at 12 noon Pacific Standard Time, okay? Take care, bye. Yay!